So our Keurig um, that we currently have had is leaking really bad, so we decided to get a new one. Um, Looking around, I had never heard of these before. I guess I don't get around much. Um, but this is a K-Duo Essentials. So it has the single serve pods that Keurig's known for, but then it's also just a, uh, a coffee maker. So you put it in the grounds in a filter and it puts it in a pot. Um, so we actually have a Keurig 2.0 that we take camping with us and it has a carafe because um, we like to make more coffee uh, for multiple cups and it works. Um, but I really like the thought of having this station where you can still do the pods and the traditional brewing. Got this off of Amazon and we're going to unbox it and then after we've used it for a little while we'll end this video with a review. So it uses coffee, it uses ground coffee or K-Pods, that's what I said. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the pod side. This is the coffee pot side. Um, it's got multiple brew sizes like most of them do, so you can have a, uh, in the carafe, 8, 10, or 12 cups, in the single cup you can have 8, 10, or 12 ounces. So that's a little different than the one we have because we, I think, have four, four or five sizes where this one just has three. Um, it has a 60 ounce reservoir. Uh, the one we have is a 64, so it's pretty close, a little smaller, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's got the 12 cup glass carafe, coffee pot. And um, like most modern coffee pots or brewers, um, it has a pause so you can, while it's brewing, you can take it out, pour a cup, and then put it back and let it finish brewing. This may actually be a button, I'm not sure, but that'll be part of the review. Um, where the other ones usually it's just a lever that keeps it from spilling down onto the uh, hot plate. Quick start guide. Okay, so this appears to be the carafe or, you know, coffee pot, some would say. That's what a coffee pot's name. Well, that's the thing. So our carafe, oh, we don't have it in here. Uh, for the other Keurig, it does look totally different than a, it's not, not totally different, yeah, but. It is a carafe. It is a carafe, whereas yeah, this, this is, is a coffee pot. Yeah. 12 cups. Good size, yeah. That's probably pretty standard, isn't it? I would think so. Okay, and this is the main machine, and there's nothing else in there, so I'm going to take this down. That stuff is really grabby. Aesthetically, Pleasing, I think. It's pretty sleek looking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that goes there. I mean, that is just traditional coffee, coffee machine. Mm -hmm. uh, the claim to fame, one of the claim to fames with this one is you're supposed to be able to put a coffee mug under there, uh, which we've never been able to do. Let me see. I didn't mean coffee mug. Con like Contigo? Yeah, so this is this is about your standard coffee mug, uh, coffee bottle, coffee... Vessel. Vessel. <laughs> and it indeed fits under It does there. fit. So oh, that's must, nice. So they must have been listening to feedback. That is really nice because that's actually one of my complaints with the traditional Keurigs is you can't fit um, that type of a thing under there. And I'm not going to go through what all this says. We'll do that when we do a review. Um, but it looks, it looks pretty straightforward. You either turn it on to do the pods or the cat. I just said I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> turn it on to the pods or the carafe. You pick your size on each. Uh, to power off, you just hold one of the buttons. Sorry. Just showing And that's just your, I mean, that's their like pat it pat pat tint pat it pat patented 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 you know design they got the needle there and a the needle yes. up there mm -hmm. um now i was curious i wasn't sure if this came out i really hope it does Let's i know I, I saw a complaint online that said this you know if you have full 
um, full length upper cabinets. Um, it's really hard, this, this hits it and this is really hard to get out, um, which is true for all Keurigs. So I actually built this cabinet so the Keurig fit under it for that very reason. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have a problem over there. It looks to be about the same, about the same height, but I'm curious of whether or not this comes out of here. Because even with our higher cabinet, um, this might be a little bit of a chore. It looks like this comes out though, the way they have it taped. And you'd think you'd have to wash it, right? Yes. Yeah, so that looks like it slides in pretty easy. I like, I already like this design. It doesn't have uh, nooks and crannies that you can't get into and clean. You know, just a little bit there. Mm -hmm. But that sucker's a pain to clean. That one? Yeah. yeah. So really, I mean, it's it's just a it's just a very straightforward um, Keurig that just happens to have a traditional coffee maker uh, built into it. All right. Yeah, so I'm excited to give it a try, and and we'll let you know what we think after a couple weeks. Use. Okay. I mean, we drink a lot of coffee. We do use we do drink a lot of coffee, so we'll um, give this thing its run. I do have run. on order a uh, a um, reusable mesh filter I and mean, that's supposed to be here on Saturday so we won't be able to test this out for a while but um, I'm curious to see how she does. All right okay. we'll see you back once we've uh, tried it out for a little bit. We have had this Keurig K-Duo I guess is what it's called for about a month now and um, we use it every single day. Multiple times a day. Yeah multiple times a day so we thought we would um, kind of give our review on it or what we think of it. So I will let my husband um, kind of take take the lead here since he uses this more than me actually. Okay so this is this really is just a basic basic model. Um, you know there's no timer it doesn't turn on when you want it to you know ahead of time. Uh, you can't do temperature selections and I don't know what they're doing with the other models. The old model we had you could do both of those things. I really like it. I think it's a really, really good Keurig. Um, I think it was worth the cost if you can justify owning one of these to begin with. Um, so the thing, the things that I really like. Um, so I get up at four to be at work at five. Um, and before with our old Keurig, you have to turn it on, let it heat up, and then you'd have to go select your options and hit brew. Um, this one is much more simple. And you could have that set up ahead of time. So if you want to do single, you do that. And I want a 12 ounce, and then I just, I go out, I feed the dog, I get my food. Um, you know, start getting ready for the day, and it just it heats up, and then it brews when it's when it's hot. Well, so while that's going, um, we do the K cups mostly. I've done a pot of coffee a couple of times, um, and it's real simple. We and we bought a, a reusable basket, um, and what they recommend is a scoop per cup. Oh, Farmer Brothers. Farmer Brothers coffee, yummy. So I'm gonna do... Oh, I'll link that down below. Yeah. On my Amazon affiliate, yeah. where we get this Farmer's Brothers coffee. It's really good stuff. And I don't think it takes that, that much coffee. I'm gonna do six cups, so that's... I'll do four scoops. You know, and obviously you do different size scoop, but I think that'll work fine. So my complaint about... Um, the basket is sometimes it's difficult to get it to go back in and other times it goes right away. I'm not sure what the trick is, uh, but that has frustrated me in the past. Again, you know, picture me stumbling around in the morning and I finally kind of get my head clear and then my coffee's ready. 
Um, so that's really nice. That's probably my favorite feature other than just the simplicity of it. You only have a couple options. It gets ready to bruise when it's, when it's hot enough. Um, the other thing that I like, and it would be complicated if you had a short uh, kitchen cabinet right over top, but I like the, the reservoir. So if you can imagine me standing on the other side, I just reach over okay. and lift straight up. And then I always fill it to the max line, you know, which is 12. 12 cups. Yeah. And if you're running low on water, um, this light flashes, you know, which is nice that it tells you you don't have to guess. I'm going to go ahead and fill up here real quick. And so when, the, when you have the water, I just reach over, you know, you just reach over with both hands and um, slide it on there. Now, um, you can see the selection. You have eight cups, 10 cups or 12 cups if you're doing cups, or if it's 12 ounces, 10 ounces, or eight ounces when you're doing ounces. Uh, if you don't want eight, you just fill up enough water for six and, and you do it that way. So it's the same thing. I do, you know, you hit cups. We're gonna go with eight. It's only gonna do whatever's in the reservoir and it starts to brew. Again, really simple. That is a little bit of a complication, I, understand, I realize. If you only want four cups, um, you have to adjust the water. I don't think that's a big deal. And so it's, it's just nice because they kept the simplicity of it and you just adjust the water yourself. So while that's going, um, the other thing that we really like, <clears throat> and our old, our old one didn't do this, and I don't know what the new ones, other models are doing, but you can take your Contigo and it actually fits under there so you can brew right into a travel mug. Mm -hmm. Again, our other ones don't do that and so this is a really nice feature. That's what we like about it, the simplicity. Um, I do like the dual right here, so if we have company or if I know that I'm gonna be drinking a lot of coffee, just do a pot. The things that I don't like, and they're very, very minor, um, when you're brewing a pot, it takes forever. And so it doesn't have enough hot water in the red, in it internally to do the whole pot. So it'll brew what it needs to, or what it has internally, and then it'll heat up more water, and then it'll brew some more, and then heat up more water, and then brew some more. So it's not just one continuous um, flow. So how long does that take, would you say, to brew a carafe? Oh, I would say over five minutes. Okay, so that's definitely a downside then to yeah. the that part of it, but the regular K-cup is, is the same, yeah. Yeah, it goes, it goes really fast. Um, you know, again, the other negative, and it doesn't bother me, if you want less than eight cups, you have to adjust the water, you know, so that's an extra step. I understand why people wouldn't like that. That's really, it. that's really, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do and it does it really simply. Um, you know, another nice thing, and this is just like any other coffee maker I've ever had is, Okay, you get enough for a cup, and you know it's going to take over five minutes to brew a carafe, so you pour. Now, it keeps filling up, so you can't lose track of what you're doing. You pour your cup, and then it, it starts to go. Once this is done brewing, it'll heat. It'll have the hot plate on for two hours. Okay. So another drawback, though, and this is if you have very privileged persnickety people. I mean, if you have a Keurig, you're privileged. It, this isn't something that everybody's going to have, but so I'm I'm brewing a pot of my coffee, and I'm going to drink it all morning. So I've, I, I brew it, and the burner's keeping it warm. My wife, she wants a different kind of coffee, and she uses K cups. So she brews the K cups, and then the burner's off, and you can't turn you can't just turn the burner on. Oh, so as soon as you use the K cup, it disables the burner. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize and that. And I, you know, that's, that's again, that's pretty minor, but it, I did actually run into that. The first pot that I brewed, um, we ran into that and I was like, oh, well that, that sucks. But uh, you can see how slow it is. Yeah, that's pretty slow. You know, and this would be a good time where it had a feature where it'd have a automatic on and then would start brewing. That'd be really nice for the carafe. Mm -hmm. So you could wake up to it done. This is not a fast process. So that's number one drawback is the, the speed of the, the carafe side. Yeah, so if they had that 
programmable like a lot of coffee makers are, that would be totally fine because you could program it and then it'd be done when you needed it to be. But. Yeah. So other, you know, other than, other than that, um, I don't have any complaints. It's, it's great. I think it's worth the cost. Um, are you glad we got this kind instead of just another typical? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this is going to really come into play when we have company. Yeah, exactly. When you have a, just your standard Keurig and it's doing one cup at a time, or even the ones that have the uh, carafe, we have one of those in our trailer where you can do a carafe, but that's not a very big carafe either. No. Um, and you have company that's sort of problematic because everybody wants coffee usually and it's kind of a slow process to get everybody coffee. So I like having that. Even if it takes a long time to brew it, it makes a lot of coffee. Yeah, you get if you do the full the full setup and you select the twelve cups, that's that's a lot of coffee. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's about yeah, it. I recommend getting the basket that that I showed, and mm -hmm. we can link that too. Yeah, I'll link the basket. I'll link the basket. I'll link this Keurig, and I will link the Farmer's Brother coffee and the contigo travel mugs and the count and the contigo uh, travel mugs that we use all yeah. down below in my amazon affiliate link if you want to check any of this stuff out but yeah we've uh, definitely enjoyed this and i think it was it was a good choice to get the one with that instead of just the standard because we've gone through i i think this is our fourth keurig now i don't know we've gone through a few yeah. curious <laughs> through the years and yeah, so this is our fourth this is we our, still have one that's going that's working though, in, in their in our trailer, in our trailer right? yeah but this um this is kind of a totally different one than what we have gotten in the past so it's kind of fun to try this out but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching we're going to drink some coffee and i will uh, see you on the next one